Hi, my friend. It is Friday. Yes, I am Pat Sloan here on another Friday daily video. <laughs> so excited to be here. So excited to have you. Uh, you can come and listen to me every day, but Sunday. And so we have a topic. And if you look on your calendar, today is socialite day because between now and who knows when, sometime in 2021, we will do socialite blocks on Friday. And I'm going to show you, I cleared my wall off and put up all the blocks so far, but let's do block number. What is it? 12, 11, 12, I think it's 12. doesn't matter. Today's block doesn't matter what number it is. So the block title is called faithful. Move that. There we go. So this is the faithful block. So what is faithful? I thought to me, faithful means our faithful friends, our faithful four-legged friends today, those wonderful companions that we have that come in our sewing room or not in some cases for some of you, but your dogs, your cats, uh, your bunnies, your gerbils, your birds, they have two legs and wings, but the faithful, our faithful companions. That is what I'm talking about today. So this block is celebrating faithful companions. And if you're on my Facebook group, share a picture of your faithful companion with a quilt, please with a quilt, because otherwise we just sort of get rid of them immediately if there's nothing quilt related. So be sure you put them with a quilt <laughs> and you know, whatever, whatever your faithful companion, your four legged furry faithful companion is, we see we, it'll be fun. It'll be really fun to see all the pictures today. So I like this block. I've got it up here on the little design board, which I use when I'm working to piece them. And that is on these fabulous uh, book stands. There's the book stand. You can make it go higher. And the book stand that uh, holds just your books, but is fantastic for your tablets, your phones. Like when I'm talking to my mom, I put my phone on there so I can lean and have it, you know, sitting up in case I, you know, need to adjust the sound or whatever. Um, use it for my tablet when I'm doing my wrist exercises. It all works out really great. I know a lot of you have gotten this, this one and really like it. So I will link it, link it below again. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at all my blocks so far. They're up here with Norm. Norm the gnome, which of course right now being that it's Christmas season, he looks like he's a Santa, but he's actually a gnome. Gnomes seem to be kind of big. I've seen gnomes on a lot of different things this, this uh, holiday season. Like the advent calendar from Jackie Lawson that I'm doing is got a gnome a day that you have to find and click it and then he like pops up and he goes into your cottage that you have because that's the interactive one okay so actually he should go here over top of no norm but there we go move norm over just a bit so that is where that block should go so this is the base and then the pattern has it come back down again. And then there's um, more in the, in the four corners of the blocks. So the one thing I'm looking at is trying to decide, now I will pop a picture here and you can see the layout. And then there'll be a second picture and there's an alternate layout that Melissa Corey uh, suggested. And I thought, oh, I like that because I sort of like that second one where it comes down like this and makes that uh, more distinct rather than a little bit more Southwest uh, to me looking of the original layout. Now, the other thing I'm gonna decide, I'm gonna wait a bit on the blocks because I'm thinking before I sew them, because I'm thinking that I might color I might change the coloration I might do maybe a color wash of them uh, and just see what that looks like before I sew them which means I have to go pretty far along before I get to sew them um, over uh, the you know the, the layout I could mess around I could mess around because these blocks could be done a whole bunch of different ways you could put them all different ways but you know I'm not going to get too crazy with it I'm just gonna maybe change that half square triangle unit to be a little different than what it is on the pattern, which is just rotating it and using different color fabric. So it's not really that big of a change, but that keeps it simple for me. Now these are the nine inch blocks. And for those of you doing the six inch and the three inch, I bet they are darling. I bet they are so darling. Um, 
Now I wish I'd done at least six inch. They would have been really cute, but not the making of them. <laughs> I like making this size. It's like, it's as nice as comforting. It's not too big a deal. <laughs> All right, let's talk about the Blazing Star again. Because look, two things. Um, one is I wasn't clear that the star, this, this part is a free block that you can download just the, the star. And then if you like this layout, uh, the Fat Quarter Shop did a pattern which alternated the free star with into the layout with the pinwheels. And they give you all the measurements and calculations for supply list and background and everything for four different size quilts into a pattern that you purchase to do it like this. So just in, just in case that was confusing yesterday, I know it was a little bit confusing in the morning, um, but I think I got that all straight out. I wanted to also show you the back because I have it on my website, but there you can see how I quilted it. And I was gonna say, let me just lay this down here a second. Um, because I basically I was quilting like this and then up and then like that to the middle. So that is how the quilting was happening. And then I did it echoed in here. So it was, it's like triangulars uh, with echo out. So there's four quadrants. That's what I did with it. Okay, the jelly roll. I have one block today, <laughs> but I have been working on them. They're over there in the rolling cart. I have been sewing some of the middle units and I've got almost all of those sewn for the rest of the blocks. So these will be one I want to put up on the wall soon and see all the colors and how they are doing and how they look. This is also in Morrison Park and the socialites is in Morrison Park. So I have, uh, and then we're going to do, I am going to do the stomping grounds, the elephants at the end of the month when we start that one, that will also be in Morrison Park. So lots of fun Morrison Park fabric happening. And da -da 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 -da, I got the binding, I got, I got the quilting. I went ahead and did the quilting on the Paris. I got that section done that I told you. I had this section here to be finished and I did it. It was not, you know, I took my time over, over the day and just a little bit at a time and then got it done. So here it is with the a green stripe. So this is a green stripe binding, uh, green stripe fabric that I had in my collection. So I just went digging around and I found that. And I thought, that works perfect. Um, here is the backing that I used and I could not find this backing exactly, but I found, I'll link you to some similar ones, very similar. Paris sceneries, houses, Eiffel Towers, people, trees, you know, it's a very, there's some very similar ones. Um, this, this one I've got quite a while ago and I actually have it also in blue. Um, and it was a, I, I don't even know where it came from, uh, but uh, this one is now done. So I'm going to make a nice photo of it, put it out on my fence, I think, and take a nice photo and then put it up on the gallery as it's finished. And the other finish I had, which I showed you the quilt, but I got the binding on, is going on a picnic. So there is the binding on this one. So I got, got it with the floral. So I picked the floral that was out of there. I still need to stitch the hanging sleeve down. So I'm going to do that tonight, I think. Uh, get that stitched down. But here is, push the darn chair away. Here is the going on a picnic. Ta-da! With the binding. So that is totally done. And I think that's already on my gallery, but I will check. There it is holding it up. I am so happy to have these bindings done. It's like you wouldn't believe. I still need to. So now I have officially have no quilts that are in the process of being quilted. I have tops. So I have like 800 things that need binding. Not quite that many. I have 800 tops. Not, not really that many. <laughs> so I have things that need binding. I have tops. And I have stuff that I've started to make. So those are my categories. I no longer have a category of things that I've been quilting on, but the quilting's not finished. All of the quilting is finished. So I'm like, yes. So that's super good. 
because that was annoying me. I don't generally leave quilted things in, and I had two of them and I've gotten both of those done in the last, well, I got one done in October, which I haven't showed you yet because I want to put the binding on it. <laughs> get the bindings on them ah. Ah, crazy oh i forgot to show you i'm wearing one of my the quilty t-shirts from fat quarter shop it's a cute one i think they might be out of this one right now but they've got other cute ones i can link you up down below so i want to say thank you i've got a couple of really sweet christmas cards and i want to say thank you this one is from karina so she sent me a pretty christmas card i'm going to put it up on that shelf like i showed you on the video the other day and uh, this came with a recipe, so awesome. Ruth sent me this super pretty Christmas card and a recipe for crusty apple pie. Now that looks like it's from King Arthur's uh, website, so I'll go find that link. And it looks like an apple, it looks like, like pie crust on the top and the bottom, and there's not much filling part. Uh, so that sounds Thank you so much, Ruth. That sounds really yummy. And then KT sent me, <laughs> sent me a Christmas mask. Look how cute this is with gnomes. <laughs> See, didn't tell you the gnomes. Look how cute. Thank you so much. This is so darling, just so darling with the gnomes. I appreciate it. So I want to be sure to thank everybody for those things. Um, I usually try to save a few up and then show them. Uh, so if you've sent something, it might take a few days before there's a couple other things and I can show them all together. Um, all right, what else? Ah, one other thing I did have, I did get in when I was getting some other stuff. I thought I'm going to get some more stripes for bindings. And so I did that. I've got two that and i'll link you up to these because if you want to collect some stripes you know and have them on hand that's what was great for the paris one because i already had that fabric i didn't have to wait and order it i always keep some uh, so here is a red and a navy on diagonal so that they'll be diagonal when you put them on and then i had got a piece of a little bit wider um, stripe so this one's a kimber bell so it's got like a you know more than a, <clears throat> more than one width of stripe there we go got the words out okay <laughs> so norm and i said thank you where is norm over there there he is <laughs> yeah so i've had people question are we going to finish norm yeah, someday i'll finish norm someday i'll fire that project back up it's norm and nanette and i actually took some of my but my my tulip blocks i'm going to put in with them from my uh celebrate the seasons book so there'll be some um gnomes of boy gnomes and girl gnomes norm and nanette and then a few two probably three tulip blocks uh in in the quilt it'll be so cute when it's done but i haven't worked on it for ages i've got like partial faces done and that's about it <coughs> but i think that's a good one to reboot reboot that up in in uh 2021 <laughs> all right my friend thank you so much have a fabulous day, evening, next day, whenever you're watching this. And I will uh, leave all the links below. I love you. Mwah. See you online.